In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for K plus H2O. This is potassium metal in water. When we look at the reaction, we see we have a metal all by itself here, and then we have elemental hydrogen over here by itself. So when we have two things by themselves, we're thinking it might be a single displacement reaction. With this type of reaction, it may be helpful to think of water as not H2O, but HOH. It's still the same thing. There's two H's and one O, but this might make it a little easier. So in a single replacement reaction, we'll have the metal, which forms positive ions, replace the other positive element. In this case, hydrogen has a positive charge when it makes an ion. That will come in, push this out, so now it's all by itself, and then the potassium will be with the OH. That's where we get our KOH. And if we look at the charges, potassium forms one plus ions. The hydroxide ion is one minus. So that makes sense. Those charges work out. This is the right compound. So this is the reaction, but we should make sure, does this reaction actually take place? Will potassium, is it reactive enough to replace the hydrogen? To figure that out, we look at the activity series here. So as we look down, here's potassium. It's very reactive right here. It's right at the top. Hydrogen is down here. So potassium, very reactive or much more reactive than hydrogen. So it will be able to push the hydrogen out and then bond with the hydroxide to give you this potassium hydroxide and then hydrogen H2. It's always a diatomic gas and it's by itself. That's the type of reaction for K plus H2O. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.